Hello ladies, this is Still Looking Good, the channel that reviews wigs for the mature woman. Today I'm coming to you with an Amazon company wig. This company called ATZ Hair reached out to me to review a kinky curly bob. And the company is also known as ATOZ Wig and I'll put the information in the description card. Let me tell you a little bit about this wig. It's 150% density, 12 inches, but it also comes in 14, but they sent me 12 inches. It has a four by four lace part, and that means it's about this wide. There's no lace on this side and none on that side, but the wig also comes in a 13 by four if you're interested in that. Um, also, the um, cap construction is pretty typical. It has the straps in the back and it has two combs. And I have a 22 inch head and it fit me just fine without a wig grip. So you may not have to use a wig grip if you have a 22 inch head. Um, the, the curls are really, really tight. I washed it and conditioned it and the curls kind of bounced right back. And I'm going to show you how I styled it in a minute. I also want to let you know that this wig does shed. When I washed it, it shed and it also shed some more when I tried to comb the curls out, as you'll see shortly. Um, I also wanted to let you know that right up here where this lace part is, it kind of goes like that. Underneath the lace, um, they obviously forgot to cut the rest of the cap. You know, when you're making a wig, you usually have to cut the rest of the cap out of this area so that you can show the actual lace part. They forgot to, to do that. And so I ended up having to cut that piece of the cap out so that I could actually use the lace part. And it is a side part, but you will be able to make it a middle part or a right side part if you want, but it is a left side part. So um, I think that was pretty much all that I wanted to let you know. This company also makes synthetic wigs too, by the way, and this is a human hair. So what I want to do now is just uh, let you take a look at some of the things that I did to this wig. So let's take a look. Here first, I'm just going to show you that they gave me a, a knit cap to put on my head. And they also gave me just some basic instructions about um, how to care for the wig, as well as some information to let you know um, a little bit more about the company. Here is the actual wig. It's very, very curly, as you can see. There's two cones, but they seem to be going the same direction, which is a little interesting. Um, they probably should be going the opposite direction, but anyway. And then here is the piece of lace. This is all you have to clip off, except at the bottom, you can see you need to take that bottom part of that cap out of there. Here I am just taking some hair out of the parting space. Um, it was a little thin for me, so I just decided I need to pull some of that out. And now I am putting some detangler in the hair. Because um, because it's so curly, you definitely need to detangle uh, curly hair like this. And so that's what I'm doing here. Just a little detangling going on right now. Now here I am combing out the wig. Um, the curls were a bit tight for me. And so I kind of went around the whole wig and just started combing out the curls. But again, um, they bounced right back. It didn't take long for those curls to bounce right back. But um, Again, I just wanted to take some of it out because I just felt like it was a little bit um, too curly for my taste. Now all I'm doing is putting some mousse on the hair just to help it to lay down and to give it a little bit better control um, because with curly hair, you definitely need more control. Okay, now here is the final product. I like the hair. I think it's really nice. The curls were nice. I really enjoyed um, this wig. Um, it's just really cute. And I think that it's very versatile and you should be able to um, style it uh, any way that you want because um, it's nice. So that's pretty much it, ladies. And again, I want to thank AZOT Hair or AZT Hair for sending me this wig. And I also want to thank you guys for supporting my channel. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. All it really does is show that you support me. It does not send you any notifications or emails or anything like that. And again, I just want to thank you guys for the support that you've given me thus far. As I always like to say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good. And of course, so are you. See you next time.